Okay. Peggy, I had asked you if you um, were married at the time you were assaulted, and you said, um... Yeah, I was having bed sleeping. And you were how old? Uh, I think I was 15, but I'm not sure whether, because I graduated when I was 17. And when I came out of the convent, when I was in the hospital, I, my mother said she couldn't believe that I could talk. You know, I was normal. So I went back to school, and that was the junior year. So I imagine I was 16. And you said you didn't remember what had happened, except for what your mom told you? Right. I mean, I could see what happened, because I had patches on my eyes, a hole in the back of my head, you know, and uh, of course, it was in the newspaper, but they never showed me the picture they had of me in the newspaper. You were beaten terribly. I mean, I've yes. read that. Yeah, my head was really banged up. May I ask this? Um, Elmo Smith was accused of it. He was accused of many crimes in Montgomery County. Included in them was your assault. Did you identify him or did the police bring him to you? Like, yeah. But a big question that I have is, you don't remember, do you remember seeing him? Like, how did they, did your mother identify him? No. Either of us yeah. could because when he hit me, he knocked me out. Right. When he hit mother, I guess he knocked her out too. Mm -hmm. When he hit her in the face with the roll of it. Right. So she couldn't see who he was. Did you have to go to a trial or into court or? I don't think I did. Really? I really don't think I did, Donna. If I did, I don't remember. Yeah, but you're pretty sharp. I mean, yeah, you know, I would remember. Now I think I would remember, but I don't know. I, I really don't remember what happened to me. Well, you know, I just know that I woke up in the hospital and I could talk. But I had bandages on my face and my head because there was a hole in the back of my head, I guess, from the handle of the wrong So you never, what, what did you think? Were you aware of the Mary and Mitchell murder? Well, yeah, I remember that. Did that do anything to you, like when you heard that this girl was murdered and then that the same man who was convicted of assaulting you was the accused murderer? Like, what did you... Do you remember feeling anything, or...? Uh, no, no, except that I felt bad about it, you know. I did feel bad that the girl was murdered. I almost wish your mom was alive to see if she could identify his face. Well, I don't know, because she never said she did. Yeah. She never told me that she did. I only know what I've yeah. told you, what I've heard. Right. None of the newspapers were left laying around. Right. I never read any of them. Right. I guess Mother didn't want me to know what happened. When you when you used to speak to him when he was on the train, did he seem weird? Did he seem yeah. nice? Did he, he seemed very nice. Well, he, to, when I spoke to him, he seemed very nice. Yeah. You know, that's all I could remember. Yeah. Was the fact that he was looked young to me. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I just sat there and talked because it was only, I could almost stand from Goose Park to Norristown because it was just Goose Park, Bridgeport and Norristown. Right. And I didn't think a thing of it. There was a seat there and I'd sit and talk to him. But Did he assault you in your room? Did he try to sexually assault you, do you know? I don't think so, but if he did, they never told me. Right, right. You know. Well, that's horrible. So he came in your room. The newspaper article said you were sleeping. Yes, I was. So he just would have come into your room and started beating you with a rolling pin? <laughs> that doesn't seem normal to me. I don't know why. I mean, I could see if he was sexually assaulting you or, but again, your parents wouldn't have told you. I mean, I, and the newspapers never went into anything. They never ever went into anything with any kind of, just that he had beaten you. And you had, you were very close to death. Well, the fact that he was beating you making so much noise. Yeah. Because, you know, when he beat me over the head, I guess it was noisy, I don't know. 
But uh, when Mother came out, out of the bed, her daughter was working. Right. The mother came out, we had like a floor at the top of the steps. And Mother's room was there, and mine was here. And we wrapped her with the rolling pin and then beat it down the steps. So she never seen, really seen me. Yeah. And I never seen her. I was sleeping. Yeah. That's all I did.